Hi, my name is Misty Nicole, owner of Misty Nicole Atlanta, located in Noonan, Georgia. Today I want to share with you some buying tips for purchasing a new blow dryer or perhaps checking out your blow dryer, your current blow dryer, to see if it's working in proper condition. First thing I want you to do is I want you to look at the wattage. You're looking for 1875 watts or higher. This can be found both either on the arm of your blow dryer, there'll usually be a tag, or it can even be found on the plug. And I'll pull that up for you so you can see. So it can be located either here as well. You want this 1875 watts because typically lower wattage tries to heat up too quickly and will oftentimes either do too much heat damage to the hair or it will just burn out quickly and your blow dryer will die out um, within a year or two, sometimes less. So be sure to register if you're purchasing, be sure to register the warranty because um, then you don't have to pay for a brand new blow dryer if it tears up within that warranty period time. The next thing you want to look for is that the attachments. Now if you're looking to make your hair straight or smooth, you want to look for an attachment as this. If you'll notice, it's even right here the the top and bottom lip are the exact same width this creates direct airflow smoothness and allows for quicker blow dry time you also want to use if you're looking for volume excuse me you want to look for one if you notice this one is higher on the top and shorter on the bottom this creates a link between both the blow dryer the hair and it forces the hair over the brush and it creates faster uh, smooth but also volumized hair. Uh, the next thing you might be looking for is an attachment. I don't have with one with me today but I'd like to share. If you're looking for the one to really straighten and create tension on the hair, it will oftentimes fit onto the blow dryer just like this and it'll have a comb attachment. This is great for creating tension and real smoothness. It's fantastic for African American hair or any kind of kinky texture hair. Whenever you're looking at your current blow dryer and you want to see it, if, it, if your current blow dryer is giving you a little bit of a burn smell or if you haven't cleaned it a while, I want you to go to your blow dryer. It'll have a back on it just like this. You just simply detach it and you're going to clean both your vent and you're going to clean the fan in there. Now you can use an old brush. Um, just get a simple little cheap brush. You can also use a, a, care, a can of air and spray inside and this will allow you to remove dirt and debris. You should be doing this every week with your blow dryer if not once a month at least. Especially if you typically have a home that has pets or you have perhaps a smoker in the home, these areas will get um, full faster and you need to clean them so that your air, your hair dryer can uh, blow at its maximum capacity. So I hope this tip helps. If you're looking to pick up a great blow dryer, I hope uh, I highly recommend you check out your local TJ Maxx. Sometimes you can get professional brand blow dryers at just a fraction of the cost. Thank you for watching. My name is Misty Nicole. Please don't forget to like us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you and have a wonderful day.